Hi everyone, welcome to the next section of this lesson. In this video, we're going to look at how to extend and reduce LVM partition in Linux. All right, quick one if you're going to be writing the RH CSC8 exam or the SUSE Linux exam or the LSS exam, you can just scroll down here. I'm going to be dropping the link to this website in the description section below. All right, so just click on the exam practice questions, and we're going to be updating the website from time to time with questions. All right. And um, it's best you subscribe to the YouTube channel or to our newsletter on this website so that you can always get updated. You can, al you can also click on the RH CSA 8 exam practice question at the top of the website here. All right. In our previous lessons, we created logical volume. All right. So let's look at the logical volumes that we created. Okay, so you can see the Technic logical volume and the Technic 2 logical volume. All right, so for example, um, you can see the logical volume of the Technic 2 to be 4 gig. So if we are to extend or increase this logical volume to 7 gig, for example, how do we go about it? So the first thing you need to do is to verify um, the volume group to see if there is still available space left. All right, don't forget that the logical volume would get um, sizes or volumes from the from the volume group all right so let's verify the volume group and you can see that um, the volume group is technically two volume group all right which is here we have um just one gig just about one gig remaining all right and we need to extend this four gig to seven gig so that means we need about two gig here on this volume group so that we can take all the sizes of this volume group and we can use it to extend the logical volume all right so since we don't have enough space on the volume group we need to um get a partition or a loan or a volume from anywhere where we can create our physical volume for from all right so if you do um lsblk for example let me just clear my screen all right, you can see the devices I have here. Okay, I think I still have um, a free volume, which is SDE, which and it's um, 6 gig, all right? So I can decide to partition this SDE and um, give it the size of 2 gig. And I can also decide to use the old volume, okay? And create my physical volume on the old volume, depending on how I want it. So it depends on what, on what you want to do. But in this case, what I'm going to do is to use the old sde all right and if you're in a production environment sometimes you might need to assign a loan to your server so now from this um from this sde i'm going to create a physical volume okay so i'm going to use the command pv create on device sde okay so this physical volume has been created i can now extend my volume group all right since i have um physical volume created on SDE. So to extend the volume group, I can do VG extend followed by the name of the volume group, which is tech need to volume group. All right. On dev SDE. So you can now see that the volume group has been extended. So if you do VGS again, let's see. You can see that the volume group now as the free size now has been increased to 6.9 gigabytes so that that's um approximately 7 gigabytes all right so now that we have um, our volume group extended we can now extend the logical volume all right and to extend or increase the logical volume size we will use the command lv extend followed by the size which is um the the lv size let's look at it again the lv size is four gig we want to make it seven gig all right so we need um about three gig to add to the four gig so we're going to do lv extend all right followed by the size which is plus three gig followed by the logical volume All right, then followed by the device where we created the um where we extended the, the volume group from which is sde all right so there are different ways 
um, you can write this command to know more about it you can always do lv extend dash dash help or you look at the man page of lv extend to see the different ways you can go about this so you can now see that the logical volume has been increased from 4 gig to 7 gig all right and we have one 792 extent and it's successfully resized so let's do lvs again you can now see that the logical volume has been increased to 7 gig all right now that it's been increased to 7 gig let's um, verify the file system you can see that on the file system we still have um, about 3.9 gig so what you need to do um, is to resize the file system all right so if your file system is ext4 ext3 or ext2 use the command resize 2fs all right followed by the device that is the logical volume all right and this is going to resize the file system if your file system is xfs use the xfs underscore grow fs um, command so i have that on this website so I'm going to be dropping the link to the website in the description section below so that you can look at how it's been done, all right? If you're using the X XFS file system. And there are a lot of things you can also learn on the website as well. Okay, so you can now see that the file system is now 1835008 blocks long, all right? So if you do df-h again, let me just clear the screen. All right, so you can see that the file system has been increased to 6.9 gig, all right? So it's, it's taking 1 gig out of um, 0.1 out of each, all right? So you can see that um, the file system has been increased. So this is how you increase or extend the logical volume on a Linux system. Thank you for watching. And in the next video, we're going to look at how to reduce or shrink a logical volume. So thank you for watching once again. Bye for now. I didn't mention, mention that you should please subscribe to this channel. Uh, please do subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye.